doctors and our insurance companies are, are what kind of dictate a lot of these things. With some insurances, it's gonna be, no, this component has a warranty on it, it's, it or it doesn't, it, it, it's not damaged to a point that costs more than 60% re of the replacement cost. Under no circumstances will that be re replaced, whether right, wrong, or indifferent. Um, but, but a lot of insurance policies are written where there's some wiggle room there. So as long as you have good communication with your prosthetist and your doctor, um, you know, if, if there is a change in your activity level or your goals yeah. or those things, those are a lot of times reasons that could trigger, right. you know, the need for a new say, Increase in activity, like, if, if, yeah, hey, right. I'm, I'm looking at biking now right. because last year I couldn't. Right. And I was a K2 and now I'm a K3. Correct. That's easy. But it if is, you're going to there's, there's, there's still our insurance policies out there that will not cover that. Well, easy, but you could right. prove. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, is that when these kinds of things happen, even if it's, it's with the insurance companies that are saying no, you can't take that first no. They, that first no is their easy way out. That's their easy out. If they can get 30 to 40% of the people just weed it out and don't have to buy new stuff because they said no the first time, they've just saved a, a lot of money. So you gotta keep at it. You gotta advocate for yourself. You have to find medical professionals that are gonna, happy to team with you, yep. to be advocates for you, and not necessarily take the easy way. If you have physical that, therapist notes that coincide with right, your findings, right. and, uh, and, and they I go mean, to see their doctor. I mean, you should always be trying to work with their physician. And, so and that and we, we say it all the time. I mean, we spend almost as much of the time of our time fighting with insurance companies over 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 justifying things as we do treating patients in this day and age. But the reason that we do that is because we don't take the easy way out. We are gonna help you figure out what the best thing for you is mm -hmm. and, and not just say, well, if I take this path, the insurance company will just say, yes, I'll have this done and we'll move on. But, but we're moving on while you're not. Um, we're not gonna move on without you. We're gonna all move on together and we're just gonna keep chiseling yeah. away at them until they really just can't say no anymore. And if you're finding that you're that and you're in places that that you don't feel like you're being advocated for, say, whether it's your doctor, whether it's mo most companies your aren't going to say, "Hey, that's a little bit of a gamble, and we're not willing to take the gamble." Right, and, it, so and it's if understandable. You're, if, if you're I feeling that way, advocate for yourself and go find new medical professionals. Find find a new team of people. Well, I always tell people too, for whatever reason, people aren't as involved with their insurance companies. But if you're calling your insurance company yes. and you're talking and advocating for yourself. You're their customer. It's harder they, for them to tell you no. They love to tell us no. It's yes. a lot harder for them. And people have just been doing more of that lately. Mm -hmm. But the more people are involved with communicating with their insurance companies, it, it does help with, with outcomes and getting things turned around. Right. So don't think that that's something you have to let everyone do for you. Be active in your own insurance and benefits.